Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 9 and 10 of Magical Girl Lyrical and Anal Hush Strikers. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 9 in 3, 2, 1, go. And of course, still, Tia still feels upset. Like, still, having Nanoha say what she said to the both of them? Jesus Christ. And then doing what she did. I mean, but it's what she thought was right. She's still emotionally vulnerable. And that, I, I think, even if she was still out in the field as of now, she could have a breakdown. And it could be even worse than what it is now. And then, of course, she felt some type of way for Watch Your Face because, like, yeah, she just watched someone who's... Okay, remember, Nanoha saved her life! So, of course, she owes everything to Nanoha, but watching Nanoha, like, literally not kill or destroy, just injure someone who she really, really cares about. Yes, of course, she... Subaru is gonna feel some type of way. That's it. And I don't know why I was expecting about a week ago, Subaru would have like gone toe to toe, head to head with Nanoha. Because, of course, at that moment, all she saw as well was red. She was ready to just like not really fight to the death, but to fight for Tia's um, integrity or her importance in a way. Because of the fact is these two, they, they've been so at the hip. Unlike um, Fate's little, my little couple that I ship. Them, they, they just, they've known each other only for like a couple of episodes. So it's different from those two. I think if we got maybe like a flash forward into the show, then yeah, I could say something different about them. But as of right now, like no, because they're still babies. And they're still figuring out themselves out. I mean, yes, both Tia and Subaru are also figuring themselves out. But this is where I feel like Subaru's sister needs to come in, have a heart to heart. Uh, there's a lot that probably is going to happen in today's episode. Or episodes. How you feel? In the infirmary. <laughs> we hope. No, I, I'm just thinking she's wondering who undressed her. Here comes the wife. Not to scold her wife, but to, you know, console. No, huh? Yeah. 
my thing is, is she, like, she heard the alarm just as much as everybody else, but is she really ready to go back into battle? And on that battlefield, like, she could tense up again. Okay. I mean, yeah, I get it. All you care is about the fucking relics, baby. I feel like there is still something else more about her because I... Okay. Once again, nine episodes into this show, and we only know very little about her and the Doctor. Like, yes, the Doctor is someone that both Nanoha, Fate, and Hayate have faced. Really more of Nanoha and Fate, and that connection and stuff, but still. Context. Context. Yeah. I hate to say that, but you're still emotional. That too. No, honey, don't say that. Yes, but at the same time, you're overworking yourself. Do you want to screw up during a mission? It, it, hold on, wait. If that's you holding back, I cannot imagine how it is when you not holding back. Because, ma'am, that punch. Shit. So, mommy. Mommy Fate. <laughs> Fucking not a music key. I love her so much. Oh my god. Let her cry. Let her enjoy Idol Bash and shit around the girls. She's hard in D4 DJ. I need her in more games.
pink as hell. Even Nanoha herself is hard on herself. Duh. We all are as, like, people. Once again, are we going to see her friends, who is also Fate's friends? I mean, because it is weird just to see these three and not to have those other two who, you know. <laughs> Seriously. So, hopefully it happens. It's a lot of pressure on the little girl. Mm -hmm. God, this hurts just to rewatch this. By a nine-year-old, yes. Because she's a, she wants to help someone that's in her heart. Even now, that's what she does. That's why she's trying to prevent the same thing with Tia. She doesn't want that to happen to someone, especially so close to her, who is a student for her. More you and Subaru. I know you feel bad.
Ja. <laughs> Basically, yes. No, Tia. The whole gang is here. <laughs> you know, you shouldn't be spying on them. Yeah. Oh, honey, it's okay. Of course.
right? And you can't hold their hand forever as well. That's right. Think so cute. I'm gonna die. The fact that, you know, still, Nanoha still thinks of others. That is her well being. She, she's not a people pleaser, but Nanoha is more of a person saver. She has the, you know, gotta, ha gotta save every freaking person hero gene. And she, she's going to be the toughest critic, including on herself. I mean, this girl was doing everything. She was training her ass off. And look where that gate, you know, drove her into. And so you also feel bad because, yeah, T was slowly but surely going that exact same way. And if she would have done that, it would have been maybe at the same situation of Nanaho or even worse. Like, she could have possibly died. Naha is very lucky to have the possibility to, even with that situation, to not know that you possibly could walk again, that she now is walking again. So I think she values life very differently than she was as a child. Remember, she's now a grown woman. All three of my girls are grown women now. And so the way that they look at life is very different than they were when they were kids. I mean... I think I can say that for all of us, the way we always, like, how we were as kids versus how we are as adults is completely different, and our thought process is very different because we have new challenges and situations to deal with, especially, you know, being stressed, and, you know, welcome to the world of being an adult, and then you're just like, I don't want to be here anymore, I just want to go back to being the kid because the kid didn't have to worry about anything or really anything. You just got to be a kid. You didn't have to stress about this and that and everything. And, you know, I, and I hate to say it, like, I, I secretly hate being at home. I really do. Love having a job. Love having my own money. But secretly, I hate dealing with the stress of being an adult and the situations of the problems that you were dealing with on a daily basis of being an adult, especially with like, okay, the situation that a lot of us are currently in right now with finding somewhere to live. Um, and how much like, depending on where you go for an, if you're running an apartment, it's already expensive. And every year they go up because it's, it's apartments competing with other apartments and such. And then depending on where you live and if it's like, if you're living somewhere where it's, like, near somewhere that's very, like, high and fancy and glamorous and ish, oh, like, best believe your rent is gonna go a lot up more. Like, okay, where I live, our high fancy thing is Walmart. I am down the street from a Walmart. Every, like, when I come out of our apartment complex and go to the, I'm about to say go to the right, go to the left, the first thing I see is a car dealership. There are car dealerships all around here and such. Once you make that turn and you're going towards my job, nothing but car dealerships and such. Now, if I was living um down the street of where Outlet Mall is, oh, okay, that is the fancy high life and stuff. Because I'm guessing the rent over at those apartments are like $2,000. And that could be for a, that could start just for a single bedroom. Leading on up to a two bedroom, a three bedroom, a four bedroom, if you're possibly getting a four bedroom. Depending on where you go and the amenities are that are there. You're going to, like, there's going to be a point in time that we're going to be paying almost $3,000 for freaking rent. Rent. That is nuts. 
and, and that's what it, it, it's stressful because it's like you're you're sitting here thinking about where is that money gonna come from and it's super hard and, and it, it's stressful that's why, like, it, it's so, when I go on TikTok or just, like, on YouTube or on Twitter and how there are so many people who want to just give up because it, it it's so fucking hard in this world today to just be like, why the fuck do I have to owe this much of where the fuck I live, whether I am renting a house or a fucking apartment? This is why a lot of people now who are living in apartments are renting a house, why they're buying houses now. And such you're not paying as much well technically you are but you're still kind of paying that same price as an apartment but you have more room in the house or the townhouse or wherever you're living and such and then the buyer's market of um house buying is just a crazy thing the things that i've learned in the last couple of weeks about fucking buying houses is just nuts and i don't know how to feel you're like i said you're stressing and wondering where is this going to come from where and no one wants to struggle there where i think you know collectively us i can't say for everyone so collectively like majority of us um we're all struggling on something and day in and day out it is very stressful it's hella stressful but you you take each and every single day one at a time there are going to be good days there are going to be bad days if you have to let it out and cry let it the fuck out and cry if you feel some type of way you can cry you can scream or anything that is your moment of you feeling better like i i hate being stressed i hate seeing my mom get stressed or anyone who I really care about getting stressed and stuff and that's how I feel when I look at Tia and you know her and her backstory and stuff this girl is a stressed out chick that if Nanoha if she didn't learn about Nanoha's backstory who knows what the fuck would happen to her early on in this series but god damn can we please put the rent down Jesus damn I'm about to say other than that. <laughs> Go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode 10. Alrighty. Episode 10 in 3, 2, 1, go. Girl, that punch though. That punch though. I was not expecting that to come. I'm glad that they were able to make up though. Exactly. You can't always overwork yourself. DJ will be talking to myself specifically. You can't always overwork yourself, babe. You have to have a time where you can rest. Like, yes, I mean, and I'll, I'll once again, speaking about myself, I will sometimes overwork myself to the point where I am very stressed out. And I will be... Like, okay, curly right now. I'm sleepy, and it's only 7.25, but um, I work at least five hours a day. Maybe six, depending on the time issue and whatever, but it, it is stressful. It really, truly is. You just, like I said, take it day by day. And if you always need someone to talk to, find someone who is always willing to listen how you can always talk to me i am always willing to listen you know you could just sit vent talk it out and then you know you just have a day sometimes you just maybe need to just sit to some sit to someone sit down and listen to someone that's what i meant but yeah that hurt mm -hmm. last the, the previous episode just hurt and i feel like we're gonna make it worse maybe
So, of course, since this is a part one of, what, two episodes, I'm guessing. I I'm guessing. I can't speak. Something bad's gonna happen by the end of this. Do you have to fill up on her boobs like that? Are we gonna get closer by sexually harassing each other? Are we literally gonna get to compare each other's boobs? Jesus. So why don't we relax today? Mm -hmm. Well, that's the power of Nana Mizuki once again. Well, dang, we can't have a day of rest? Perfect. But of course, I feel like this, you know, maybe this will end well. I mean, like I said, two-parter. It may end badly. Oh. Mira, that's so mean. Oh my God. You can't keep calling them geezers. It's so mean.
that away. He just changed careers. See, see, mommy fate. It's so cute. I know, it looks like they're going on a date. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. I mean, hey, you got a day off, so you got to have fun. Keep each other safe, too. I mean, damn, they ain't get no money for no taxi. Well, I mean, they both got money, but they ain't get a ride or anything. They got to walk. Damn. I mean, the kids. Fate could have gave her kids a ride into the city and then picked them up. <laughs> Makes me want ice cream, honestly. I mean, I'm glad that these two are having fun, but the kids, the kids are walking. Oh my god. They took a chain. 
Yeah, they took a train. Oh. Have a little schedule that's so Watch, you know, someday will be next week. Oh, you're stuck. Bye. They're so fucking cute. I can't. Stop. Give me my romance vibes, like us. You give me my Yuri at the same time, too. And then my, my same episode sex couple. So cute. I mean, damn, Subaru, is that enough? Girl just ate the whole damn scoop of one of them. She about to have an damn brain freeze. Once again, a date. It's a 
date. I have a bad feeling about this. Mm -hmm. See, we all spoke too soon. Down there. Strange like what? Oh my fucking god. Whatever it means, it's not good! Can we see what Nova looks like? Her voice seems familiar though. Why is she kind of look like what's his face from Outlaw Star? Or is that me? That must be me. I mean, but still, like, yeah, she looks like the female version of the male character from Outlaw Star. Especially because of the, you know, the bandage on, like, the neck. No, the neck. The cheek, really. Of course it does. All right, who the heck is that? The person underground. Okay, but then what does the little girl also have something to do with it? I mean, technically there were two... But one of them fell in the water, and you would think it would be right behind her because it was on a chain as well. So then that other relic is still down there. Okay, so yes, this new girl is very mysterious. 
Um, even Nove is mysterious too, because like I said, besides the fact that she looked like what's his face from Outlaw Star, but still, what does this new little girl have to do with the Doctor and the relics? Who knows? Everybody was having a good, relaxing day. Like mm, I was ready to see my little babies go to the movies and look at a sunset and have their like date moment and such. Even though, yes, both couples were having a date in their own special way. I mean, it was cute to see um, Tia and Subaru go out for ice cream while the other two just talked. I mean, because, like, yes, that's the best thing that you want to do in a relationship with your significant other. Talking. Communication is always key. So, always, 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 Excuse me. Talk it out with your significant other. Especially if you love them that much. You talk to them. You love them. And you speak with them. Yes. But the fact that their, their little break is now over. And we're going back smack dab into work. Damn. And they gotta protect this child. And they gotta, you know, they gotta put on an APV for this little girl. Who, who knows what all this little girl has to be connected to with the doctor. But whatever it is, it's not good. Because it looks like she is seriously injured. So possibly the doctor did torture her a lot. Just as much as Fate's mom did in the first series. Possibly even worse. But we won't know until we hear her story. But then also lost the other part of the relic. And now that's in the freaking sewers. I mean, because you would think that somebody would look and be like, you know, maybe there was another one connected. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You were so freaking smart. Maybe we should go down into the sewers and look, but then at the same time, you got to wake up the child and be like, hey, 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 can we back check your steps to see where this thing might have dropped? Because, of course, the relic is hugely important. And her dropping that indicates that it's going to be something else to use later on with the plot where they're going to have to go back down into the sewers just to find the rest. But, of course, we have to wait until we get there. But other than that, guys, that is my action view towards episodes 9 and 10 A Magical Girl Lyrical Nanaha Strikers. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Wednesday for everybody else for episodes 11 and 12. Bye, guys.